We've had a number of people comment in some of the more technical topic videos that I've done asking about, you know, why is this done in a speaker or why is typically, you know, why are drivers typically placed with the tweeter on top and the woofer on the bottom and, you know, what about, what about crossovers and, and things like that. And I think a lot of them are coming from the direction of DIYers that are, you know, fooling around and building their, their own speakers or designing their own loudspeakers. Um, I think some of them are just, you know, more technical understanding that people are looking for. But, you know, I look around, uh, you know, on the internet, I look around on YouTube, and there are tons and tons and tons of videos out there by you know, audio experts or designers or loudspeaker companies talking about the technical aspects of loudspeaker design, right down to cone materials and other things. And we've, you know, I've already done some videos like that. Um, and where I'm going with this is I'm happy to look at doing some more detailed, you know, the how and why of loudspeaker designs, if you will. Um, but I need some input from, from you that have asked those questions. I need some input for people that would be interested in, you know, a series of videos along those lines. Do you want me to talk about, you know, obviously my, my experience or my philosophy, I mean, that's the only one I can really speak to, but do you want it a general thing talking, you know, more to the DIY or do you want some information about how we design Axiom loudspeakers. Um, do you have questions about some other design topologies like, or, or methods, you know, electrostatic loudspeakers or ribbons or, you know, just comment below with what you'd like to see. And then we can sort of formulate so I'm not duplicating some of the great information and the great videos that are already out there. So maybe we'll wean it down to a few you know, focused topics. And if you want me to just do general overview on, you know, how something like this Axiom M3, it, you know, was designed, or how I would approach a new design like this, that would be great to hear as well. So please comment below and, uh, you know, ask your questions, ask what you'd like to see, if it's of interest. If it's of no interest to you, you know, comment that as well, and I'll keep, you know, going on with other topics covering music and audio in general and, and, and the usual things. But I thank you very much for uh, everyone's interest so far. You know, the comments are really fantastic. And, you know, most of the ideas for new videos come from questions that are being asked in the comments to, uh, to my video. So I thank you for that and thank you for watching.